Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're back, man. It's uh, August 9th, 2014, and I'm um, looking at the box office numbers for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and we're looking at uh, $25.6 million, which puts it on track for at least a $60 million um, opening weekend. This is really, really great news, man, for Turtle fans. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy the movie. Um, I didn't like a couple of things that they did. But after doing a little bit of research, I understand that they just chose different elements from the comics and from the live action and from the cartoon. So every single Turtle fan can enjoy something from this reboot. And I'm kind of glad, man, to see that people took their kids, people went to go watch the movie, you know, and support the movie. And hopefully this gives uh, Megan Fox another opportunity, man, to uh, reprise her role. Give Smallville fans another uh, opportunity to see Aquaman um, do his thing um, as a turtle. So if you don't know who that is, go ahead and do your research. And then you'll see who Aquaman is actually playing um, inside of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, hopefully if this has success, you know, overseas and continues its streak then we'll get to see more classic reboot, reboots and remakes. And, uh, yeah, that's a quick update, man. Uh, moving on, kind of some sad news, man, for um, any uh, Evil Dead fans that are out there. Whether you're a fan of the original Evil Dead or the uh, reboot or remake, it just looks kind of like, um, gosh, man. Kind of looks like they're not going to be doing that right now, man. There, there's been a lot of uh, rumors and and talk, man, about uh, Sam Raimi actually um, taking the Evil Dead and bringing it to television. I was still kind of, um, you know, ready to see um, Jane Levy, you know, reprise her role in Evil Dead Two, because I mean, I went crazy. I mean, I was so I was terrified of the Evil Dead, man. When that came out, when Evil Dead came out. I think in 2013 or 2012 or something like that, man, whatever year it came out, I think it was like 2013. And I was so terrified in that theater, man. And, and then what was kind of cool about it is that it went from, you know, terror to comedy to terror, you know, and, and then the ending was just perfect, man. I was like, come on, do this. And then all of a sudden, you know, now it looks like they're backing out, you know, obviously, you know, television, television is, is cheaper. Television is, is, I guess you can say, it's an opportunity for these producers, directors, writers to write more, to give the audience more. So, I mean, I understand the reasoning and the justification behind saying, OK, we're going to bring it to television. And you, and obviously, you, don't, you know, you don't want a television show and a movie to go on, you know, with two different actors who are playing um, similar roles and having two evil dead things coming out because people are like you know well if there's an evil dead television show i'm not going to watch the movie or if there's a evil dead uh, movie i'm not going to watch the television show depending on you know which which one does better or which one comes out first man so i understand but it's just man i don't know as of right now man this is her statement um uh jane uh, levy this is her statement especially after uh suburgatory was canceled she says um i don't think uh they're going to make it i mean they're always coming up with a new thing now i hear they're making a tv show i was like what i think they just like exciting their fans and confusing them i honestly don't know but it doesn't seem like there's going to be an evil dead 2 anytime soon at least not with me in it and i think you know you know, with her career as of right now, it's it's been taking some major shots, man. You know, her television with show was canceled. Um, a couple of her movies were canceled. Um, it, it's just been pretty, pretty, uh, pretty rough, man, for uh, for her, man. And um, I thought Evil Dead was something that just showed so much of her, you know, especially coming from Suburgatory. If you watch Suburgatory and then you watch the Evil Dead, you're like, come on, man. I mean, we'll still get to see her in Monster Trucks, uh, Bang Bang Baby, uh, Frank and Sydney. We'll still get to see her in those, you know, um, you know, titles. But it would have been kind of dope to see Evil Dead 2, you know, on the resume and to see, you know, something something that she was pretty proud of, man. She actually really embraced that role. But whatever, man. We'll just, I guess, we'll, you know, time will tell, man, um, whatever's going to happen in the future, man. But Guardi uh, moving on, moving on. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, man, has slipped and I'm, I'm actually really excited about that, man, because I think it's just overrated. It's it slipped um, a ridiculous amount of um, of time. Pretty much, it slipped the same exact way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. 
the same percentage that um, that uh, Thor: The Dark World and Captain America: The Winter Soldier, man, um, roughly about a sixty-seven to sixty-eight percent drop um, after the movie uh, came out, you know, after its release uh, release uh, week, I should say. And that's that's what I expect now because Phase Two is just it's not it's not up to par, man. It's not up to par, you know. But hopefully, people will obviously turn out for Avengers, man. I think people will. I think fans will. And then um, moving forward for Phase Three, hopefully Marvel gets their uh, their their act together, man. Anyway, guys, that's enough time, man. I'm out of here. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you thought, man. What you, you think about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What do you think about uh, the Evil Dead uh, Two situation, man? All that stuff, man. We're out of here, guys. Thanks again for listening.